Hello, Concrete Concrete. What's up? Welcome to another episode of Will This Mold Work? Let's test this mold. What do you think this is? This is the mushroom top. This is the mushroom bottom. And so this is the lid and it's just going to go right on top. It's going to be a cute little mushroom. Look at my little mushroom head. We're going to refresh it actually. Let's make a mushroom together. I don't always clean um, all the way, especially given I'm doing something else. So I don't really need to, you know what I mean? Actually, there's like a lot more concrete in the lid, I think. I'm like trying to think, this is gonna be red. This is gonna be like a yellow beige, but there's a decent amount of space in there. So this should be enough. I'm gonna top off a bit more for red. Worst comes, we add a little bit of red down in the bottom part. This is also from our new packaging where we've got a nice little zip and we're gonna do it together. It's my first time doing it, so I'm gonna peel it off. Nice. Good and easy access. Yeah, there you go, that should be enough. And we're gonna zip back up, get rid of that. I forgot to put a bit of red in my red. Obviously. I don't want it to be pink though. So we have to be decent on the amount of red we put in there. Okay, it's pink actually. I feel like there are, there are pink mushrooms, right? There's gotta be. I think we're making pink here, so we're gonna add more red. Gotta. Ah, uh, maybe not, maybe not. But it will lighten up a tone, right? Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so fun. As soon as I saw that little mushroom, I was like, I'm ordering that. This is going into the series. There's no doubt about it. This, this is what I want, like a nice little beige toned with a hint of yellow. Although I fear there won't be enough actually. We're gonna top off. Since I just did that one, we're not gonna do it first actually, because we let this rest a little and that's the whole point. Um, you do wanna check out like the design. So there's like little balls here, like, you know, like the mushrooms have like the little circles. So we're gonna massage those a bit um, before we fill, because it's a new mold. So it's super shiny and glossy in here. You wanna break that tension. So we're just gonna go in there and make sure all of that gets like rubbed, like the lines and stuff, because we don't want voids. You get contacted. And then you want to vibrate, of course. And add in concrete. I'm running low. More than low. It's not enough at all. What was I thinking? Okay. Panic mixing is fun, like I do it pretty fast. So you go quick, you gotta match it. You gotta remember like proportionally how much you put. You gotta have the water ready. You wanna vibrate, keep vibrating and pour all of this into here. All right, let's do this one. It's really fun. Oh yeah. Nice and easy. That one's going just how we wanted it to go. So I was missing some right here and it could be cool. I thought if some pink does kind of melt in with the beige with my vibrations here, but we definitely need this to cap off this little section here. It needs to be done. Everything's in there. I didn't like forget it. I, I knew I saved it for last. But this part right here, like, is the inside of the bowl. And I figured I'd just like, since it's the inside, use whatever remains I had. The first casting should never be like the full 
conceptualized colorway, everything you want, the perfect pattern. It's where the experiments happen and the talking to yourself occurs. So I'll be back. We're going to let this chill and we'll be back together shortly. Hey everyone, we're back. I waited a few hours and here we have the mushroom cap cured. Looking good. I think so. Like, yeah. That looks good. Let's start with what we always do. We do like a slow, slow peel. Yeah. It's actually a little bit hard. Damn, that was a good pour. I can see a little bit and I'm impressed. Yeah. Check it out. Solid pour. I'm gonna try to keep it clean. I think my hands are a bit dirty. Little mushroom bottom. It looks awesome and it feels good too. Like the lines here that were in this mold, right there, imprinted. And it's relatively clean also. Let's do this one. This one I'm a bit more nervous about. I really want to do a slow release and emptying of the pieces. I don't know if that's like a crack right here. Ooh, okay. We've got a bad bridge here. I'm gonna take it from the good side, I think. Yeah, something here didn't quite get vibrated properly. I still think it's salvageable, like it's at the bottom, so nobody's gonna see it. Oh, what? What? But that happened here, like the bridge here. It didn't work, but I, I didn't really have like high expectations because of how the mold was. I didn't know if I was filling it like over. I think it's a success, like honestly. Other than that, I think I'm gonna knock out like the rest of this, like get rid of the other edge and just kind of sand this and then I don't have to worry about this lip here but the next time I do it I'll definitely do it properly but like, this is what I wanted and it does close I'm just holding it wrong right now but or maybe not because I'm missing that but it stays it's heavy Boop. nice 